ओके वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट द एक्सपाथ क्रिएशन ओके एंड वॉट इज एक्सपाथ एक्सपाथ वी राइट इन ऑटोमेशन बिकॉज वी हैव टू लोकेट एनी एलिमेंट ऑन द वेब वेबसाइट राइट सो इफ आई ओपन एनी वेबसाइट सपोज नॉर्मल गूगल डॉट कॉम ओके सो ऑल दीज एलिमेंट्स लाइक दिस लेबल दिस इनपुट फील्ड दिस सर्च बटन ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर एक्चुअली अ एलिमेंट ऑफ अ वेबसाइट ओके so if i right click somewhere like anywhere in the page and if i inspect you will see this storm this storm opens up for us okay this storm is nothing but it contains the details and attributes of all the elements on the screen okay now what i have done i just right clicked on the page and inspect it cool now see this is the element which we need okay this first button can you guys see it yes mm. this actually selects an element in the page to inspect what what does it mean by that uh, is you just have to click on that element and just try let's see if i am targeting this image okay so i'll take it over this image and i'll click it the moment i'll click on that image using this hover button it will tell me all the details about the image okay similarly once again once again once again okay yeah. i thought one second okay yeah. see when you will click on it when it is in active mode it will turn blue okay the moment it turn blue just mm. hover over any element suppose this is my element and click on it mm. okay so when i clicked on it you got all the attributes of this element okay because we are targeting or we are writing the xpath for this element xpath is nothing but a path we have written for this element so that our uh, driver or our compiler will be able to locate it uh, in java programming our compiler was able to locate the methods because we were writing everything in main right we were telling that you have to go to this method and then do some actions mm -hmm. similarly here we will tell that go to this element and then do some actions okay for that we have to clearly provide a locator of this element cool there are very simple ways to find um, elements like you can find them using a name or text or bo Uh, ID, they don't have ID here. Okay, title. So these are attributes. You can use any attribute to to locate any element. Okay, but now suppose I have to combine multiple attributes and then I want to create some path for this element. Okay, in that case, what I'll do is I'll scroll up. Okay, and in the DOM element in this area. Okay, what you have to do, you have to click somewhere, anywhere. Okay, and then after that. For I'm using Mac, so Command Space I have sorry Command F I have clicked. You guys will be clicking Control F. Okay. Mm. The moment you will click Control F, this window will open at the bottom, which is ready to find. Okay. So now let me zoom it a little bit for you guys. Let me keep it here. Now suppose my targeted element is this search bar. Okay. I cannot see the DOM. Okay, now suppose my targeted element is the search bar. Then how I will write the X path for it? In the search window or in the search bar, what I have to do the first thing is our X path always starts with double slash. Okay, once mm -hmm. I wrote the double slash rule number one, double slash rule number two is you have to write the tag name. What I what does I mean by tag name? The starting name. Like for this, this is input. If I go for some any other other element, this is div. For some other element, it will be um, form. See, something started with form. That's why I ended here with the form. So every tag actually starts with something and ends with the exact same thing. But in front of that, there will be slash. So it will show that it started from here, it ended from here. Cool. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if we uh, see our element, you were having this right. So it might have got ended somewhere. Okay, they closed it like this only. that is also allowed that is also allowed okay so you have to write this starting tag okay now see i'll write input cool so there could be multiple inputs on the page so see there are total of one of eight inputs if you click on the next you will see all the input elements just a second control minus minus and uh, let me go here and see the first one was this one okay which one was the first one this one now see second one third one fourth one is this google search 
fifth one is i am feeling lucky this is again input the sixth one is this uh, let's see which one is this one this is i think input one uh, this is something which is not visible on the screen seven is hidden again okay eight is hidden again so that's why we cannot see it okay so there are total eight elements in in website you will get a uh, few elements as hidden they don't want to showcase it but they are there in the dom what i mean by dom is document object model so entire objects of that particular uh, website will be there okay now now see we were targeting the first element right so i'll go back here i have to make this elements xpath so unique that it will not match with eight elements it will match only with my element which i was targeting okay so in that case what i'll do is after i have written that tag the third rule is square brackets always any xpath okay double slash tag name square brackets inside that what you will do is you have to use the attributes right all these things class equals to wherever you see equals to right and the key value pair that is your attribute and value key and value attribute and value key and value so whenever i'll say key or attribute that is same okay so this this search bar is having multiple attributes we will not get these many attributes for all the elements see this element this div here this just contains two attributes one is js name one is class but our element contains lot of attributes there are hundreds of attributes here okay you can use any now how to use an attribute okay now you know why to use an attribute because we are creating xpath we have to make it unique that's why i'll i'll provide attributes the more attributes i'll have i'll be able to combine them and make the even more unique um xpaths right so inside this square brackets to use the attribute we write at the rate okay so now let's see what attribute i can use which will make it unique do you think uh, in the entire dom element there will not be any js action which will be having this uh, paste colon whatever the value they have they could be right it cannot be unique there could be multiple elements they have which has this js action but there is something i am seeing which is title as search because i cannot see any search here that means the probability of having any other elements whose title will be search is very less so i'll look i'll go for this one because this is this going to make my xpath more easier okay so let's copy it and i'll write paste okay now at the rate title now i'll say what is the title i'll say equals to in single quotes go inside single quotes and copy the value of this value or this title or this attribute and paste it okay see the moment it matched with this attribute it got highlighted and you can see that there is only one element on the screen which is matching with this x path getting it no no like what is x path and all okay just okay just just remember the statement that x path is for locating the elements on the screen okay mm. and how we locate any element we locate the element when we click on inspect we get all the details of the element we can like we can visually see this um, search area on the screen right but our yeah. code our a compiler does not understand it it understands machine language and machine does not understand this ui part machine understand what is a code written behind it so this is the code so we are saying go into the code which was written for the ui and from there look for something which matches with these details mm. um are why you getting the theoretical the title then why you are not taking the class or j no take anything that's yeah. fine see if i'll take class instead of title if i take class i'll show take you why i was not taking it uh control c and control v see now it is matching with this one that's fine but suppose i'll take this spell check okay instead of class suppose take something which is not that unique in that case what will happen let's see i'll write auto auto correct okay auto correct and let me put this value as off okay oh perfect this is also matching with this one otherwise mostly what happens is you will get 
nine to ten values which is matching with your expats. So in that those cases, you have to make sure that you are making it unique. Okay. Let me take some other example. For example, let's take role equals to presentation, right? So there are multiple elements where the role is equals to presentation. So if I'll try to find out any div, div tag, which is having role equals to presentation, so multiple div will come into picture, right? So see, double slash, first thing, div, in brackets, what is my attribute? Role equals to, in single quotes, I'm writing, Mm, presentation. I hope the presentation's P was small presentation. Mm -hmm. See how many elements are matching? Four, right? So when your mm -hmm. compiler will try to look for this element, like if, if four houses has same address, then you will get confused, right? Which house you have to enter. Yeah. So your yeah, address should be very unique so that someone can directly come to your address. So that's why similarly, when compiler looks for this element, compiler does not want to get confused. He wants to look for this. If only one element is there, then only he will be able to hit that. Correct. And that's why I was taking title equals to search because I knew that that will make it unique because I can't see any other search area. So I thought that that will make it unique. So that's why I took title as search you can take anything like suppose i go here and click on here you can take anything which you feel could be could make your xpath unique so if you'll take this auto correct as off uh, we check that right so let's check role equals to combo box role equals to combo box but this is input so i'll change it to input okay now also only one is matching that is cool but normally this does not happen you will get nine to ten things which is matching with the xpath okay if i'll show you some other website for example any or for now just ignore where we use xpaths and all that that i'll teach you when i'll teach you selenium part okay but I want you guys to practice it. How to locate an element, you guys, please practice it. You just mm -hmm. have to right click and inspect and keep doing it for 10 minutes day on, on a daily basis, okay? Now, let's say, let's take any website. Let me see what websites we have. We can take any websites. Mm -hmm. Which is this one, start testing, let's see. Okay, this is one website they have given for testing, okay? So now, now suppose I want to target this thing. My test case says that I should uh, enter the value in this full name, okay? And uh, this field, okay, let's target this thing, okay? Suppose this is checkbox. My test case says that you have to click or check in this checkbox, okay? In that case, what you can do is, you can directly click on it, inspect it, and let's go, let's scroll up a little bit, and you can see here. I agree lambda test. These are all the attributes for that lambda test. Okay. Now, if I go here and inspect, we have input field whose ID is organization name, but whose type is text. So if I say uh, input whose type is text, so see how many elements matches with that. So type is equals to text. See, there are two elements which are matching with type equals to text and which is not right. Your compiler will get confused that which one should you target, correct? That's why I will not go for type equals to text. I'll prefer to go for something like placeholder equals to full name X, okay? Because this, this is going to make my um, XPath. This unique. can be done in any browser, right? Like Chrome, um, Firefox. Actually, Firefox does not, uh, sorry, Safari does not support it. You Most of the time people use Chrome only. Uh, in yep. Firefox also, you can do it. Let me open Firefox. We have to use Chrome. So here also you might be doing it, see. But, oh, you guys cannot see my screen? No. no. Oh, 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 Got sorry. Struck. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm on a different screen. Mm, desktop one share 
cool can you guys see it now yeah yeah, yeah. so let's see this is this is firefox but i don't like firefox much because chrome is far easier so okay. if you see you just have to click on it same thing just click here and locate the element so once you located it you will get same details but it is kind of i feel a little bit bulky than the chrome one right yeah. so that's why i always go for the chrome one okay. this is a little bit more easier and spacious i'll say mm -hmm. right so now this thing you understood right why we use attribute mm. because it is matching with two now right so that's why i'll again use one more attribute which will not see this is my first element right this element contains these many attributes now i'll go to the second matching ele element and i'll say i'll see go here and i'll see which attribute we have here which is not matching with the first element so let's go to the first element again and see the placeholder is the full name x here okay and in second element, the placeholder is company name. So of course I can use it. In both the cases, type was text, cool. ID was also different. So I can also use ID of it, okay? Something which is unique, we have to use that. So I'll go back here, I'll see, okay, ID is name, okay? For the first element that we want to target. The select second element, which, oh, our element is the second one, okay? So the first element, we are not targeting, we don't, we don't care which this element is. We are targeting the second one. We were targeting targeting the company name, right? So I'll choose the ID of the company name. Instead of type equals to text, I'll write ID. Mm. Come on, Z. Let me copy it. So ID is name, right? So I'll type ID is equals to name. Name. name correct so the moment i changed and i made it unique it is showing me one of one which was mm -hmm. expected right now mm -hmm. now sometimes what happens is you will get like if there are 10 attributes or out of those 10 your nine attributes will be same happens right because they normally provide uh, two to three attributes like suppose here they provided class name here as well and here as well but both the class names could be almost same that's allowed you can have same class name for multiple elements okay so in that case what will you do in that case you can use multiple attributes of an element like suppose earlier we used type equals to name correct type equals to text sorry t y b e type equals to it was text, right? Or something else, T E X T. Yeah, it was text. So this thing was not matching. So what you will say, okay, let me combine one more attribute that will make it unique. How to do that? Um, I can go to the other element. This was the element, suppose, okay? The other element which is matching. Uh, and I'll see, I'll see, I have want to look for the uh, input element which which gonna have these two attributes compulsory okay so first attribute is it should be of type text and i'll write and the second attribute of this element is uh it's its id should be name okay at the rate id equals to in single quote i'll write name okay the moment i combine these two attributes to make my expats very specific for this element it will say one of one Okay, so you have to keep adding your attributes to create your XPath. Still, it, it becomes the unique. So you have to keep doing it. Use multiple attributes, use single attributes. If the single unique attribute is not there, then in that case, you can go for the combination of attribute to make it unique. You guys getting it? So you can mm -hmm. add as many attributes you want. So let's say name equals to name, right? see so i can keep adding attributes so your xpath got created with multiple attributes or you can create it with single attributes as well okay now uh, guys any doubts here like how, how i have written this uh, xpath no. any doubts like why i use this at the rate i use this at rate because it is it is attribute we are calling attribute that's why at the rate okay 
and whenever you provide a value of an attribute you have to make sure that you have written the single quotes not double quotes okay one second so your value should be in the single quotes and when you say and and operator says everything should be true right this should be there and this should be there and this should be there all three things should get compulsory as a true it should be there and it should match with that value key value pair should match with okay. each other correct mm -hmm. so now um, let's see one more thing now suppose oh, let me remove this thing here okay and now we knew that um, this x path which you have provided this is matching with two elements right and suppose you are not able to create a unique xpath sometimes it happens like this site is very simple but tomorrow you will get a very complicated sites as well to automate in those sites maybe you will not be able to create the proper xpath in that cases if you are having two elements which are mat matching with the same xpath in that case you can use the index operator okay so what you can do you can put the entire thing inside a bracket okay circular brackets not the square brackets square brackets only for, is should be used only for the attributes collection okay so you kept everything in a circular brackets and outside of it you are doing a square bracket and inside this you are putting index so when i say the choose the first element out of two it will choose the first element it if it will say choose the second element then you will write two here with me everyone yeah so always make sure that your index value should be in these square brackets. Your index value should be in the square brackets. Your attributes should be in square brackets. You cannot write circular brackets inside that at the rate, okay? Because it is not a method. This input is not a method. That's why a circular bracket is not mandatory here. I mean, not at all required here. It should be square bracket only. So this index part you understood, right? So according to that, you can target. And how to target it? Like you can check it from here. Okay, am I targeting this? No. Am I targeting this? Yes. Then I'll go for this one. If it is two, I'll choose two here. If it is one, I'll choose one here. Okay. Now, this is another way of writing XPath. Okay. Not the third way of writing XPaths. Um, what you have to do is, there are two methods that we can use. Uh, okay, before that, what more thing? Uh, we can find the attribute Mm, let me let me see if we have an element okay let's target this text okay this is a simple text on the screen right this productive teams right so what i can do is but this is very big there text one second let's take some smaller ones is this a text no this is an image okay let's go for this one only then mm, can i go for sign in yeah already have an account we'll go for that. already have an account where do you see this? Sign in beside side. Left to sign this in. Yes. Mm, this is very messy. Let it be. Uh, <laughs> let's take this one. This is simple. Okay. Just for teaching purpose. After that, you can handle any uh, messed up thing as well. Okay. okay. Now, now suppose this is the element you were targeting. Someone gave you some test case, which is saying that please... Uh, verify that exactly this statement is there getting displayed on the screen or not so in that case you will target this element right you will target and you will try to fetch this value and after that you will try to compare this value with the expected value this is how mm. you test right manually also yeah. you do the same you yeah. you log in you reach this page you read yeah. this message and then you compare this with the expected value this is the actual value and that is expected value so what can I do in these cases? Because these attributes, if you say, they are not useful for me, suppose. The only useful thing is the text of the element because I wanted this text, right? So in that case, what you can write is, instead of attribute, you can say double slash. What is the tag of it? It is H2. Okay. Yes. I'll create the bracket of it. Inside this, instead of writing at the rate something, because I'm, I'm not interested in the attribute of this element, I'm interested in the text of this element, I'll say h2 text, okay? And this text is actually a method. So you will provide circular brackets. So I'll say h2 text, circular brackets, comma. Here you will not use, okay, equals to single quote, single quotes. And in this single quote, single quote, you will provide this value. So I'll copy it from here. 
command v see it matched exactly with this text okay so whenever you don't find any attributes or a, a good attribute which will make your xpath unique you can go for a text as well directly okay if text is present you can go for a text so how to how to you you guys understood this you have to write text you don't have to write at the rate in front of it and just because you are not writing at the rate in front of it it will be considered as method and you have to write a parenthesis what after it h2 h2 is s2 is a tag see okay it started with s2 all these things from where it is starting is a tag for images img is a tag yeah so for div div is a tag okay so for every element you will be having tags so there are five rules you have to follow first thing you have to always write double slash the second thing write the elements tag okay whatever tag you will get on the screen write that tag after that you have to create the square brackets okay cool three things done fourth thing is you have to look for the first value like first attribute it could be anything it could be attribute it could be text it could be anything and then just provide in single quotes provide the value of it cool yeah. now so what i have to do is uh, what i was teaching you one second yeah okay so let me remove it and show you some scenario where you will be having attribute as well as text both okay mm. let's see this is start testing right so start testing okay see this a tag this element contains class but if you see the class size it is very big right it is starting from here and it's it is ending here so i'm not interested in using this class because it is very big i i don't want to use it because i i'll not be able to create a good xpath with it, with it your xpath should be very precise and very unique always these are the two properties of the xpath your xpath cannot be a long xpath it confuses people okay now suppose uh, we don't have this title okay we don't have this we just have a, a class and a text in in these type of scenarios you can go for a text directly instead of going for a attribute mm. so now you have two options one using attribute one using text okay now uh, you guys got it should i repeat anything here yeah got it got it okay now let's target something else let's see okay let's take this example only okay so wherever uh, now suppose this is the element okay and you don't even have a text for it you only have a class and this class is very big but you have to target it you cannot leave it right so if you don't have any attribute or anything uh, good about this uh, element in that case you have to work with this class only so why to work with the entire class why can't i just uh, you know find some unique word or unique uh, something unique in this class body itself so in that case what i can do is i'll use some inbuilt methods okay that methods are contains and start with so what contains says uh, contains says that um Mm, okay contain says is nothing but that's a big topic should i teach you here okay let me try so in contains what you have to do you have to write the same thing double slash okay after that you will write the tag a cool after that you will write square brackets cool inside this you will write contains okay contains what does it before contains let me show you starts with starts dash with okay this starts with is a method okay and what does its method does it tells me sorry it says that give me the value uh, of a key and value which you want to target and i'll just compare the starting value of it for example if i'm targeting if i'm targeting let me take some unique value here yeah this was our example right so integrity okay so for example and this is for script so instead of this i'll write as c r i p t script starts with one second guys let me write the code and then we'll see s h a 512 
yeah i knew it not going to work because with script this does not work so one second mm where is my main code okay let's see this this button suppose okay uh command f so now suppose this button contains a, a big uh class in that case what i'll do i'll write the button class starts with btn btn primary okay so i'll write button um starts with at the rate class equals to single quote btn okay so now it targeted how many buttons okay cool now see how it how does it work mm -hmm. these all things are seen right double slash and the starting tag this is seen you created the square bracket that is also seen you provided the attribute that is also seen but just because you are providing the partial attribute because you are only interested in the starting value so you are just saying that find any element on the screen whose class starts with button btn okay so you are not providing the entire text of a button you are just looking for just because this method works in such a way that it just looks for a uh, attributes starting value and whatever value you provide if i even say button space btn primary it will keep matching see it is still saying one of one because it is it is matching the moment i'll write something like this it will not match because it started comparing from the very first alphabet it started looking for that alphabets but the moment it found one one here it is not matching that's why zero of zero right so we'll we'll keep it will keep comparing the initial values like whatever value you will give it for every element it will start looking for these values so every element whose starting value or maybe the entire value matches with this thing it will tell okay that element is matching okay so you have to use this starts with method whenever your class or any attribute value is very big and okay. one thing to note here we don't have to provide equals to whenever we are using the method we don't have to provide equals to we have to change it to comma you okay. cannot write this okay mm -hmm. you have to write comma now let's try uh anyone mm, let's see let's see this one this one we were looking at right so i'll change integrity to sha512 this is again a script let it be division i can't we look at the script uh that is a different uh thing you you have to use javascript executor and all that's a different thing and teach you that in the selenium that will be heavy for you guys for okay. now okay so don't go for c javascript and all you have to do but whenever there comes a script you have to use javascript so that is a different thing so but i'm looking looking for some management here let's see let's see what i can target mm can i target this text yes so again here see class is very big i don't want to write this much of class so i'll go for a text and i'll say only partial text using if suppose this text is also very big in that case what i'll say only look for the unique thing like in this case the unique thing is credit card right so i'll say any span which is containing text and the text contain credit any span whose text t e x t text starts with credit so i'll remove this and i'll write c r e d i t was it in capital letters mm -hmm. oh where is it credit card this was the one right mm. yeah span text contain credit, credit c capital
Okay, you have to write contents. Yeah, I'm, I'm just taking one thing. Uh, see, instead of contents, if I, okay. So if I write starts with, okay. Now, using starts with, it is not matching. Why? Because it is not starting with credit. Yeah. It is starting with free sign up. But if, like earlier, we, what we were doing, if I'll give free sign up, it will match, right? If I write free sign up, it will match. But if okay. I want to compare, there are only two methods, starts with and contains, okay? So, but if I have any text and we, I have any middle value, which is not at the start or at the end, I have some partial text of that entire text attributes value, then in that case, I can use contains as well. Contains, see. So you don't have to write free here. You can use any word there, credit. So there, there are only two methods. Starts with, there is no method like ends with. You have to use starts with or contains to locate this element. You guys with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So today we learned about how to write XPath using um, attribute, first thing. Second thing is using multiple attributes. Okay. Third thing is using index. Fourth thing is using text. Fifth thing is using functions. And the functions are starts with and contains. Will you remember all these things? Yeah, can you repeat? Yes, the first is normal XPath using attribute. Yeah. Okay. The second is normal XPath, but using multiple attributes. Yes, yes. Right. The third thing is using index. In index, we were putting everything in a bracket and then we were writing one or two at the end. Remember? Yeah, that is the second thing, right? Using. No, the second thing was multiple attributes. Like anything, like th there are five ways to write ah, yeah. this. We are using say. and. Yeah. So one was normal attributes. The second was multiple attributes. And for that, we were using and. The third thing is using index. The yes. fourth thing is using text. If I don't want to use any attribute, I'll write text and then bracket, parenthesis, comma, value. Correct. The fifth mm -hmm. thing is using methods. Methods are contains and starts with. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So they so normally, um, if tomorrow you will work uh, on any of the website, mm -hmm. these websites are very simple because they are just for practicing purpose. But if I'll show you Amazon's website, that is super super complicated. So you will not be able to locate any element there. So let's see. So see if I target something here. Okay, now you can see it is it is way too complicated. How to understand that? Uh, let me show you something very complicated. Oh, instead of this, let me take it to left side. Okay, now see if I have to target this fridge here. There are multiple elements like uh, okay that concept I haven't taught you, but normally you will see a data like this. See. You cannot work with this huge amount of data. There are multiple attributes and which one you will uh, check. And all and the attributes the are, you can, but uh, suppose ID is not there. In that case is what you will do, right? If ID is not provided to you, there are some other things are provided to you. So you have you should know how to write different types of XPath as well. Okay. You can on cannot only be dependent on attributes. Suppose attributes are not provided properly. In those cases, you should know uh, how to write, work with ex, um, text, otherwise contains with or works starts with. So all those mm. things you should know, like five to six ways of writing this part should you should be aware of. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Our images. How to look at? Same thing. Uh, where is our image? Let's see. This was the image, right? The same thing. Double slash, img, and yeah. in square brackets, alt equals refrigerator. Or if we have any other attributes for this, let's see. Um, data a hires is there class is there you can go with the class name as well it is small but i don't feel it's gonna make this xpath unique so you can go for a source okay and inside source let's let's see so source is very big okay but you have some values in the source that could be unique like suppose the cb is double six seven three it could be unique to this image right 
so you can go for this value but to fetch this value you can use contains because it is not at the start but it is somewhere in the entire text so you okay. can write contains and in bracket text equals to cb667 and this value okay. so same thing you have to do you should just know that how to use it where to use contains where to use starts with where to use index you should you should have all these things in like quickly you should oh, get to know about these things that okay in this situation i have to use this because automation is all about experts everything yeah. in automation is about experts if your experts are not correct you will not be able to work mm. doesn't matter if your um, java coding and everything is good or not yeah right okay so there, there are few the differences like uh, in manual we'll just check it through our eyes and in exactly. automation we'll just you have to tell your uh, machine that go to code and from there look for this element okay right okay mm. so this is called as dom structure okay doms in dom structure we get to know all the elements and its attributes mm -hmm. and uh, from there we teach our machine how to locate any value or locate any element everything on website is called as element okay mm -hmm. everything on a website each and everything every single check box or text or image or anything everything is an element so you should be able to target everything like suppose if i am saying furniture i should be able to click on this if someone tells me that click on this block which is in white color i should be able to target this as well so how to do that let's see if i hover over it if i hover over this kitchen okay that is getting targeted but if i come out and if i see this is the entire frame so if i click on that this is again an element this entire frame the highlighted one see the blue one this is again a frame if i'll go a little bit up this is again a element okay now if i'll go again up so this this is the second one okay now if i'll go again a little bit up this is again an element so similarly everything whatever you see on a website everything is supposed to be an element and few few attributes will be attached with these elements always okay you should be able to read this attribute properly and combine these attributes properly properly in such a way that it will target the element okay. easily okay okay uh one second let me stop sharing here and stop the recording here